fundamentally people stay within the company, not because of the company, because of the people in the company. So essentially what the work crowd does, it enables businesses both to attract and source great freelance talent, building freelance talent pipelines, but then automating the way in which they work with freelancers and improving that whole process and providing really rich data behind it. So it's an end-to-end -end solution that other businesses and other platforms aren't offering. Businesses need to not just think about how they're hiring permanent talent, but also need to think about how they're going to hire and retain their freelance talent because fundamentally people give businesses their um, competitivity. So the barrier to growth, the barrier to finding great talent is really where these people are placed. We're not just co-founders, we're also sisters. And um, when I came up with the idea and saw how the industry was shifting, I went to Madeleine and, and spoke to her about the business and what was happening. And Madeleine actually happened to be freelancing at the time. Yeah, so as a freelancer, for me, a really big, important thing was actually that sort of taking more control of work-life balance, um, that actually work is something that you do. It's not necessarily the place that you go to. So really actually creating a network and being advocates for a community, but using technology, as Alice has said, to power that network was something that was really important to me. Alice came with this idea, we hashed it out, um, and I suppose that's where, in its sort of infancy, the work crowd was born. So I think the toughest moment in setting up is when you go from a super excited about the concept and the idea and then implementing it into reality of producing a tech that actually does solve problems. You're awake at one o'clock in the morning going, was this the right thing to do? Have I invested in the right thing? But if you've gone through that process, then absolutely grit it out and believe in yourself and back yourself and keep seeing the vision of where you want to go. The key thing is the delivery. So, and the delivery will take time, it'll take perseverance, and as Alice says, it'll take a huge amount of grit. Make sure you have enough resource and support to get you through, but also that actually as an individual, you've got that determination because it is a life choice. It's something that you need to be 100% committed to. As co-founders, but also as sisters, some people say, how do you work with family? Actually, do you know what? I think it's amazing to work with family. Um, you have an instant trust. I think if you think about any business, when you're looking at the dynamics of a, a founding team, you want to have enough that connects you, but enough differentiation. But it's all about trust. And that's also what our whole community is about. If you work with freelancers, again, it's about trust, it's about outcomes. That's what's fundamentally the most important. So actually being able to say, do you know what, we're enabling people to work in a totally different way. We are fundamentally transforming the way in which they can work and the way in which businesses work with individuals. Then you suddenly go, absolutely, it was worth it. And we are, we are on the right path. And it really is helping businesses solve those problems. And those sort of sweating in the middle of the night, one o'clock <laughs> moments, are all worth it.